Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about recurring document in SAP FICO. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload. This is totally free. Please like and share this video. Share the knowledge. Sharing is caring. Now let us start. So in this video, we will learn about recurring document in SAP FICO. So recurring document is used in case of periodic postings. For example, rent account debit to bank account and insurance paid account debit to bank account. Okay, so now uh, first of all, we will create the general ledger that is rent paid and insurance paid account. Okay, so we will create a recurring document for these two these two GLs. So rain paid general ledger account. So we will copy rain paid uh, GL to our insurance paid GL. Okay. Secondly, we'll create a recurring document number range. Document type is X1 and uh, transaction code is OBS7. Okay. Now uh, then we will create a recurring document template. The important points uh, in this uh, while creating recurring document templates are we have to mention our first and last run date. For example, uh, 1 4 18 to 31st March 19. Yeah, this is a period of a uh, one year. This is just for an example. Okay. Now, uh, then we have to mention a run on date that is the date of month when we want to post a document. Then frequency of posting. After that, we will test run our document and we will final post that our document. Now we will do the practicals. So we will use the transaction code FS00. Press enter. Okay. Now we will copy. Okay. We will copy our. Uh, rain paid account to insurance paid account okay so select the line click on copy as or you can right click okay select or click copy so here we have to put our required general ledger account 3 lakhs 3 continue and we have to change the short text this is our insurance paid account so insurance paid insurance paid all the other things will remain same okay now we will save the this uh, GL. So this is our new GL insurance paid. Okay. So uh, rain paid GL is already been created. So uh, we will work on this two general ledgers. First is rain paid and second is insurance paid. Okay. Now we will create our recurring document number range for document type X1. The transaction code is OBA7. Okay. So here I'll put slash n o b a seven press enter. Okay. So in this step, we'll create our recurring document number range. Okay. For document type is x one. Okay. Now see select as x one. Sorry. That is recurring document number range is 91 click on this number range information okay put your company code click on change intervals now click on insert interval and here give x1 for year 2018 here select the number range so this is a number range which is available so select this number range
चेंज दिस टू नंबर फोर थाउजेंड से ओके सो वी हैव क्रिएट अवर नंबर रेंज एंड सेव द डॉक्यूमेंट ओके देन वी विल क्रिएट अ यस कंटिन्यू सेव द डॉक्यूमेंट अगेन नाउ वी विल क्रिएट अवर रिकरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट टेम्पलेट ओके टू क्रिएट अ रिकरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट टेम्पलेट यू हैव टू फॉलो द मेनू पाथ एस एफ पी मेनू अकाउंटिंग ओके फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग जनरल लेजर पोस्टिंग रेफरेंस डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड एफ बी डी वन रिकरिंग डॉक्यूमेंट ओके सो डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस एफ बी डी वन नाउ हियर वी हैव टू गिव फर्स्ट रन ऑन डेट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी जीरो वन जीरो फोर टू थाउजेंड एटीन लास्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंटरवल इन मंथ्स दैट इज जीरो वन दैट इज वन मंथ रन डेट फॉर वन जी एल दैट इज फॉर रेन पेड अकाउंट वी विल टेक run date on uh, say 29 okay now document type is sa sa is a standard document type for gl document now for first line item we have to give posting key 40 we have to mention account gl account gl account we will uh, take as rain paid account okay select gl press enter first run is in past so this is a warning message press enter okay here we have to mention the amount okay in next line item give 50 account 1 one is for bank okay now see amount okay and Save the record. Likewise, see document three thousand one was stored in our company code. Likewise, we will create another document template for insurance paid account. Okay, so first run on date one four two thousand eighteen nineteen interval in months. We will take a zero one. If you find this um, system, will show you the. Available record, so we will select zero one that is per month. Okay, run date. We'll take this as a zero two. Okay, we'll take a zero three. Okay, document type we'll select as SA. Posting key forty. We have to mention general ledger account for insurance paid. So this is our GL, which we have. created press enter this is a warning message information message okay so here we have to mention the amount okay in the next line item posting key account number this is our bank account number okay now we will save the record okay so document 3002 was stored so we have create our recurring document template in this step okay now we will test run our document okay to test run in sap menu periodic processing recurring entries f.15 is a transaction code also so 
double click on f.15 give your company code click on execute okay so these are two documents 3001 and 3002 okay this is created by user id okay and this is a value okay now f-14 this is original document run okay double click give here we will give our company code okay document number is 3001 and 3002 we have two documents okay fiscal year 2018 okay settlement period 0104 2018 to 31st 03 2019 now here we have to give batch input session name okay recurring 11 now click on the execute button okay so we have created a session recur11 now in system select services services select batch input and select sessions okay now see we have entered or we have created a session name recur11 so select this line and click on the process now select display errors only and uh, click on the process button okay Processing of batch input session completed. Now we click on this exit batch input and now in uh, slash n fbl 3n gl line and display n press enter. Here we have to give general ledger account. So uh, we have two gls 3 lakhs and 3 lakhs 3. So here we will mention our two gl accounts and click on the execute button we have already given our company code click on the execute now see here two entries have been passed so this is for 6000 and this is for 9000 for this gl okay and uh, this see this gl is our insurance paid and this is our rent account okay so system has passed the two entries on 29th and on third okay so this is how we can create our recurring document in sap fico so that's all for now in this video and if you have any query or suggestions regarding this video please feel free to comment and thanks for watching keep in touch again don't forget to subscribe to our my support solutions youtube channel okay keep in touch and bye bye